Welcome to our service of healing on this January 25th. We celebrate and commemorate the life of the Reverend Florence Lee Tim Oy on this day. We ask you to open your hearts and your minds up to um, God's divine presence in your life on this day. Please join me in taking in a deep breath. As we do so, we center ourselves for the time ahead. We come together this day in the name of our Holy Trinity. Amen. In the wilderness, water seeks life. Seek us out, O God, and take us to the water. In the word of God, the good news gives light. Seek us out, O God, and fill us with understanding. Here is the water of life, the word that feeds and the food of eternity. Come and praise creation that provides abundance. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, who pours out your spirit upon your sons and daughters, grant that we, following the example of your servant, Florence Lee Tim Oy, chosen priest in your church, May with faithfulness, patience, and tenacity proclaim your holy gospel to all the nations through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from portion, a portion of Psalm 116. I love the Lord because he has heard the voice of my supplication because he has inclined his ear to me whenever I call upon him. The cords of death entangled me, the grip of the grave took hold of me. I came to grief and sorrow. Then I called upon the name of the Lord, O Lord, I pray you, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent, I was brought very low and he helped me. Turn again to your rest, O oh my soul, for the Lord has treated you well. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations, and in every place incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering for my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of here, a reading from the Holy Gospel of Luke, the fifth chapter. Once, while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him, to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boats. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have worked all night, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to break. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees saying, go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were amazed at the catch of the day and that they had been taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything and followed him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. I just wanted to share a little bit of Florence Lee Timoy's story. She was the first woman to be ordained to the priesthood in the Anglican Communion. 
and this happened on January 25th, 1944. When the Church of England began ordaining women priests in March 1994, few people appreciated that the first Anglican woman priest in the Anglican Communion had been ordained 50 years earlier. Um, when she was recognized by Bishop Ronald Hall in war-torn Macau. Her story bears a remarkable, remarkable similarity to the, that of the Roman Catholic um, sister who was clandestinely ordained in the Soviet-occupied Czechoslovakia underground church by a bishop in 1970. Ludmilla was her first name. Li Timoy was born in a fishing village in Hong Kong during a time when baby boys were preferred. Her parents, forward-looking people, were determined to challenge prejudice against girls. Their chosen name for their child means much beloved daughter. She was ordained a deacon on Ascension Day in 1941, and she was given charge of an Anglican congregation in a Portuguese colony of Macau, which at the time was overflowing with refugees from war-torn China. Though she was not authorized to celebrate the Eucharist, Tim Oi ministered on a full-time basis. She tended to the physical and spiritual needs of her congregation and its neighbors, she baptized, married, and buried faithful. She gave counsel and friendship to the grieved, organized food for the hungry, and kept hope and faith alive among the people desperately struggling during a time of war. On January 25th, 1944, she was ordained a priest, as I stated before, and um, the bishop who ordained her was known um, to recognize that this was a controversial step. We thank her for her witness, her tenacity, uh, her courage, and um, we lift her up today to hopefully provide us some inspiration for the ministry that we do, wherever that might be, whatever, with whoever. An affirmation of faith. We believe in God above us, creator of all things, sustainer of all life. We believe in Christ beside us, companion and friend, redeemer of all the broken pieces of our universe. We believe in spirit deep within us, advocate and guide, who lives with us eternally. We believe in God's resurrection created world where all things are fixed and all creation fits together in vibrant harmonies. We believe in God above, beside, within, God yesterday, today, and forever, the three in one, the one in three. Amen. We pray for healing and forgiveness on this day. From squandering resources, abusing our companion species, and polluting the habitat we all share, heal us. From the folly of imagining ourselves free, from the fate of your whole creation, heal us. For repentance and the determination to begin our stewardship anew, heal us. O oh, merciful creator, your hand is open wide. Bring us into the life you desire for us of forgiveness and reconciliation. You are forgiven this day so that you may forgive others. Continue your journey of faith knowing that you are surrounded by love. Amen. The prayers of the people. Lord, turn our praises into hands that clothe the naked, arms that comfort the afflicted, tables that host the stranger, and shoulders that support the weary, so that your name may be praised by those who live and those who die. We give you thanks and praise, O God of creation, for the grandeur of all that you have made, saying, we thank you, God. We give you thanks and praise, O God of love, for the many blessings you have given us, saying, We thank you, God. 
We thank you, O oh God, of second chances for the forgiveness you bestow on us during our darkest times, saying, we thank you, God. We thank you, O oh God, of companionship for the relationships and partnerships you have blessed us with, saying, we thank you, God. We pray for the people, land, water, air, flora, and fauna, and creatures of the earth. Especially today, we pray for the land of Bangladesh. Gracious God, make us always thankful for your loving providence and grant that we, remembering the account that we must one day give, may be faithful stewards of your good gifts through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. We pray, eternal spirit, life giver, pain bearer, love maker, source of all that is and that shall be, father and mother of us all, loving God in whom is heaven, the hallowing of your name echo through the universe. The way of your justice be followed by the peoples of the world. Your heavenly will be done by all created beings your kingdom of peace and freedom sustain our hope and come on earth with the bread that we need for today feed us for the hurts that we inflict on one another forgive us in times of temptation and test strengthen us from trials too great to endure spare us from the grip of all that is evil free us for you reign in the glory of the power that is love now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, God of all creation. We thank you on this day for your gift of abundant life. And we ask that whatever we enjoy, help us to feed the hungry and the poor. Go from this service with joy, securely abiding as branches of the true vine. Go and tell the story of faith that is given to you by the one who never lets you go. Seek out those who abound with sacred questions and be ready to answer a mystery with love. And the wisdom, love, and grace of God strengthen you to be God's hands and heart in this world of ours. And the blessing of God Almighty, our Creator, Redeemer, and sustainer be with you now and remain with you always amen alleluia alleluia go in peace tend to your spirit and all those you encounter today thanks be to god alleluia alleluia thanks for joining us online today have a blessed day